What is it, Claudia? Bull is a comedy. It's a comedy, <laughs> a comedy show and it's very funny. And it's set in an antique shop yes. uh, and ran by Rupert Bull. Rupert Bull uh, or Robert Lindsay. And his sister, um, uh, Beverly, who uh, smokes like 60 or 80 fags a day. And uh, we hire Faye. Now, Faye, before you start work at Rupert Bull Antiques, there are certain things you should know about working in an antique shop. Uh, number one, always use a coaster. I can't stress that enough. And number two, do not use an antique coaster. You see, that's where the last chat went wrong because a lot of this stuff is worth a fortune. You don't take much in that process. You don't hire. No, you. no, I don't. I'm I not, don't think you were hired either. I you don't, kind of stumbled in. I think they found they found Toby in like a <laughs> cardboard box. I basically play the complete moron. Uh, like he's like an alien. Oh, basically. he's lovely. He's, he's, a, he's a very happy, childish moron um, who ha is the odd job guy. Toby, this is Faye, and this is her first day. <laughs> no. <gasps> Hello. <gasps> Who's a good girl? A good, 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 good. <gasps> no, Toby. Hello. Toby. Bless you. Toby, this is her first day here. Oh. Mm. Hello. <laughs> I'm Toby. Yeah. Hi. Toby's our odd job man. <laughs> Only made three mugs, but you could have mine. And I thought the two boys, Gareth and Jean-Luc, were fantastic writers. Yeah. Um, and obviously from a director's point of view, it was fantastic because they're quite visual, the scripts. And there's a lot of s stuff, there's a lot of places that the camera has to do work, as well as obviously the, 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 the cast. Um, so that was obviously, obviously in Ep 1, there's the big Rude Goldberg moment where the whole place falls over. I have a passion, love, uh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, she destroys the shop. In the first, like, 30 to seconds. To show really her great. deep, deep love and respect for all antiques. And, but she, she somehow gets the job. I yeah. think it's the charm. <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> The writers. The writers. Gareth and Luke. Yeah, very special. And Luke's not a bad actor. He's a good actor. I dare say you do stand out, but perhaps not for the right reasons. He's implying this man stands out for the wrong reasons. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I thought it was um, funny in a quite an original way, slapstick. Um, I immediately thought that my character Beverly was <laughs> within my range, in fact, you know, um, a monster, but, you know, but, but funny. <laughs> anyway, have you met my sister? The, she's in charge of your pastoral care. You all right, then? Yes, I think that's that done. <laughs> I remember reading and thinking, like, this is some, like, somewhere between black books and airplane mm. and all of that. And also you had a great costume designer in Jeff because the, the, I think the look that he gave Robert played a huge part in, in what he, he, he did. I've got a date with another very rich widow on Friday and I need to dress to impress. Look at the lining. <laughs> Yeah. It's so much fun. It's it was good. Job in the world. Yeah, it was really fun. We um, didn't get along there. We we hated oh. each other. <laughs> very difficult. She's very kind of tiresome to work with. Uh, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Uh, well, I can't even pronounce Naz's name, so it's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> and and Claudia Jesse, or Jesse Claudia, is is a, just adorable. Um, uh, and actually, she r works really well. Maureen, I think, doesn't have to move much, does she? What do we do until a customer comes in then? Well, I don't know about you, girl, but I'm going to have a nap. You just watch this for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the people that were in it, all yeah, those other people really, that were in the show. And they were really nice. Like we had Kevin Eldon and Matt Lucas. Well, I, you know, when the people said to me, why are you doing this? And I kept thinking, actually, I'm doing it because I'd like to work with Matt Lucas. Uh, Matt Lucas and Tim Brooke-Taylor 
uh, do a dance <laughs> in an egg shop. Uh, and it was actually hilarious. And they choreographed it and everything. It was very funny. Um, that was one of the highlights, actually. Even though I was you know, s sitting, watching, it was so much fun. <laughs> I think now Kevin Eldon appearing as Mumford and, and as the um, suddenly becoming, uh, you know, Punch, Punch and Judy, that Punch and Judy sequence is very funny. I heard all about that puppet show. You think you can capture my personality in a puppet? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I think I made my point. So I was very pleased that the big set pieces all brought the house down. You know, in episode one, there's there's a big reveal. Episode two, there's the wall. I had to get crushed by a load of deer heads in a wall, which was um, a highlight for me. Mm. Um, I really liked that. I thought I thought I was crushed very well. <laughs> um, that was yeah, fun. It was quite, it, it was quite scary because there were like hydraulic pumps and things, and they can go either really slowly or really fast, depending on what the special effects guys what his mood is. Yeah. Um, but I, I loved that, I thought that was really cool. The cool kids. Extremely silly. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's, there's a market for silly. There is a market for silly, <laughs> definitely. No, I think it, 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 it's silly, it's fun, at least it's got, I, I, I enjoyed it as well because it has stories um, and there's a, you know, there's a name and an objective in every, every episode, but yet along the way there's peaks and troughs and falls and mm. uh, pie fights and whatnot, so, mm -hmm. so it's all fun. Well, like everybody was so chuffed that they got to be a part of the team and, it, and it, I, I hope that really comes across, I'm sure it does, in when everybody watches it because yeah. everybody was having such a wonderful time. Oh, did the old Velvet Bragg, uh, so that's um, Rupert Ball. Robert Lindsay, thank you very much. Check. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Checkmate is a term specific to chess, which means that this man has lost. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd be interested in buying some antiques. My colleague here will do the valuation for you. No, no, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I can't no, do that now, I'm not ready. No confidence, that's all you need. No, I need my flashcards, my mascot, and a 20-minute supportive phone call from my mother. <laughs>